Guys, it's freaking time for Cleason Cars Houston is back. It's been a year since we've done it because we had to shut down for the, the freaking Rona. But listen, Houston, Houston Raceway Park, February 20th. We're back with Cletus and Cars. That's less than two weeks now. And we have a whole new layout, which I think you guys are gonna love. Now, because I know there's gonna be a lot of concern about COVID, I'm gonna address that right away. We have completely changed the way that we are operating this event. Here's the deal with the way the event is going to change. Normally we set up the burnout pad in the middle of the pit area and everyone crowds around the pits. We bring in mobile bleachers, we slam everyone in there. It's an epic, amazing time. Because of what's going on in the world, we're trying to do it a little bit differently. So what we're actually doing, and this took some creativity and some bravery from Houston Raceway Park, we are doing the burnout pad on the drag strip. So as you see in this photo, there's gonna be barriers about 130 or 140 feet apart. That track is 60 feet wide. So we're making a long rectangular burnout pit right on the track, but that allows us to use Houston Raceway Park's massive bleacher set. So people can spread out as far as they want and still see the show. They've got plenty of room. Those bleachers are a thousand feet long, a couple hundred feet high. They are insane. One of the nicest sets of bleachers I've ever seen. So by doing the event this way, we can utilize the bleachers and let the spectators spread out and you know, to however they wanna be. And listen, before I get fired up, you guys can buy your tickets at the link in the description below. You buy them early, you get a discount. You know the deal. You guys are probably wondering, Cletus, how are you gonna do burnouts on the racetrack? It's gonna destroy the racetrack. Well, here's the deal. As many of you guys know, racetracks get scraped all the time. And when big events come up, they have to scrape all the rubber off the track anyway. Not only that, Houston Raceway Park just so happens to have a full concrete track. So where we'll be doing burnouts, there's concrete, just like the Freedom Factory burnout pad. It's extremely hard to damage the actual service unless you literally sit there and roast tires for five minutes. But to prevent that, we're just gonna do no standing burnouts, only continuous burnouts, which the event needed to prosper to that point anyway. No more standing burnouts at Cleveson Cars. That's gonna come with a different form of scheduling and how we're gonna do the event. Obviously, because we have to turn the actual racetrack into a burnout pad, that means drag racing is gonna end in the early afternoon. We're gonna run some jet cars that we hired. Everyone freaking loves jet cars. We had to get some jet cars for you guys. And then we bring in the concrete barriers, set up the burnout pad and we run the cars. But let's talk about what cars we brought because the drag racing, you know, we're gonna need a couple extra drag cars. We're gonna need a couple extra burnout cars. You know, you guys can't be that close to the pit. So we're gonna bring in some more vehicles to make the experience better. And if this layout sucks, just let me know and hopefully we'll change it by the next one. Hopefully, you know, it'll be better by the end of the year. So we're bringing, we're bringing 11 cars. Normally we get like four there, four or five. We're bringing 11 cars. We got Garza's Miata, JH in the F-250 burnout diesel truck. We got James in white trash. We got neighbor. We got George bringing the, his Silverado that runs on basically pure nitrous. We're bringing the twisted T car for Drew. Chad, we built a LS powered Mustang for Chad. That's gonna be coming. We're bringing Ruby. We're bringing Leroy. And we're bringing freaking Warbird. Unfortunately, we're not gonna bring Toast. We got Toast almost done, but we're worried we're gonna blow up the engine that's worth about $30,000 by not testing it and taking it out there. So no Toast. But I did talk to the Australians we're bringing freaking Warbird. They said, why wouldn't you? And then we're bringing one more car. If we can get the mystery machine done, we're gonna bring it, but we haven't started on that because we've been working on the freaking racetrack. So if we can't bring the mystery machine, we're gonna bring something else. So I'll let you guys know on that. I'm actually really excited about this layout. It's a little different, you know? We've been doing the same event for a couple years now. This is gonna throw a whole new aspect into it. So the walls are gonna be tighter. I have a feeling we're gonna be using those quite a bit, but you know, we got a lot of good drivers out in Houston now, so I'm not really too worried about it. I think we're gonna have an amazing show. It's gonna allow people to spread out as much as they want to whatever they're comfortable with. And we're gonna do it. We're gonna have freaking Cleason Cars Houston again. So I'm fired up, guys. Please don't sit in the comments fighting with people who are super worried about COVID, and people who are super aren't. It's just not worth your guys' time. We're gonna do this event to the local guidelines as safe as we possibly can. 
enforce our new rules to let the public do burnouts with uh, no radiators near drivers, things like that. February 20th, Cleese Cars Houston. Be there, Houston Wave State Park. We'll freaking see you there.